Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be showing you an amazing demo searching data from DynamoDB using Siri, state, zip, location, geo queries, right? So I'm going to be showing you a demo. The entire video is based on a concept called uh, geo hash and I did make a video uh, which covers the concept in detail. So let's uh, uh, see the de project demo, right? Again, this is the video that I made. I just posted um, in, uh, today itself. Uh, here I explain the entire concept of GeoHash, but let's see the demo. For this example, what I have done is I have essentially loaded all the data from um, Dunkin' Donuts. So these are all the, uh, these are all the, um, you know, uh, places the, or, or, or the, you know, places where Dunkin' Donut is, right? Their location, their address and all, all that information, right? So here is my front end that is powered and that, that's exactly what, what I wanted to show you. And again, this is powered through Dynamo, okay? So Las Vegas. So this means that show me all the Dunkin' Donut. By the way, if you don't know what Dunkin' Donut is, it's basically a coffee shop. So I'm gonna search. And here, now if you observe, here it gave me all the, of course you can see, here it gave me all the, uh, you know, Dunkin' Donuts within eight kilometers. This uh, radius is in essentially meters, right? I could essentially say, hey, you know what? Give me everything within a thousand, uh, between a thousand um, uh, uh, meter. That is also one kilometer. I could do that. I also have some pre, um, pre, pre search that I've already done. So for example, okay, show me Dunkin' Donut in Indianapolis, right? So I can search, uh, I, I guess I gotta put like, the radius is pretty small. So four kilometers, right? This is one um, uh, Dunkin' Donut that I have, right? Then I can do through zip code as well. So here I have the same uh, zip code. I can click here. I can search the data and there you go. Um, uh, these are the data straight coming from DynamoDB. So what is the concept? How, how, how is this possible, right? You wanna know the how, right? So uh, let's understand that, right? So basically what the idea is, uh, if you consider earth right in a cube and this is again explained by amazon and i've explained in my video as well so consider um you know we put the um, spear in a cube and uh, so for example um each cell has four child uh, in this case example cell a has four uh, four child one two three four right then I, what i can do is i can further divide my cell to observe my mouse here cell two into further grids right and then cell 22 into further grids and so on right so now Basically, what I'm doing is I'm essentially dividing uh, into multiple grids. And again, this is, uh, uh, if you wanna see a small, I, I think I had a link here, give me one sec. Uh, I think I have it on my video. So I think I can, I'll explain the concept. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing the, the way this works, it's flawless. So this is the map, uh, you know, uh, everything is a grid. So for example, when I zoom into 69, observe what happens. It further gets divided into subgrids. So 69P, 69D, you know, and so on. So for example, 69E, if I zoom in here, right? So what do you see? 69E7, uh, yeah, 69EK, 69ES. So further and further, it keeps dividing, right? So that is here, that is exactly the concept here that we are applying here, right? So now what happens is when I do any search, location-based search, behind the scene, I'm using Google API. If you observe here, it says powered by Google. So what I do is I convert it into a Latin long and then essentially I pass it on my backend. In the backend code, I convert a geo hash and then what happens is the first six digit becomes the primary key. Now, what do I mean? Again, I have discussed all these concepts in detail, right? But again, uh, it's completely all right. I can discuss it again. It's not a problem. So, uh, not the, I think I, was, I wanted to copy though. It's fine, I'll simply, you know what I'll do, just to explain you, put this on the paint. Okay guys, so observe carefully, okay? Um, please uh, focus on the cursor. So the first six digit, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first six digit becomes my primary key. And then what I essentially do is I, I say, give me anything between A and B, right? So this becomes my partition. So partition will have many values, right? Again, we did explain you uh, in, in, the, in the last video. So if I go here, uh, this one, see, observe. So what, ha it's little, literally hard to zoom in on, on, on Google uh, presentation though, but so let me try to zoom in here. So observe this carefully. So what happened is basically now this number, right? This number, the first six digit becomes the primary key, right? 
सो दैट्स योर हैश की और पार्टीशन की एंड वो वी हैव इज असेंशली नाउ आई कैन रन अ बिटवीन क्वेरी एंड आई कैन ग्रैब ऑल द आइटम्स बिटवीन दैट लोकेशन दैट इज द फंडा हेयर राइट सो बेसिकली वी कन्वर्ट द लैट लॉन्ग इन टू अ जियो हैश एंड बेसिकली परफॉर्म एफिशियंट लुकअप्स ऑन डायनामो डी बी थ्रू दिस हैशेज राइट दैट्स बेसिकली द कॉन्सेप्ट हेयर अगेन नाउ क्विकली गोइंग ओवर द प्रोजेक्ट कोड एंड फील फ्री टू यू नो डाउनलोड एंड प्ले विद दिस सो इफ यू ऑब्सर्व दिस इज कनो बी लैब नंबर टू जियो लैब्स हेयर इज अ फ्रंट एंड हेयर इज अ पाइथॉन एंड एंड ऑल द रिसोर्सेज राइट सो let me just quickly show you hopefully you'll get it you know what i mean it's a um, very simple javascript right i have written so basically whenever anybody types anything it will fire up a function and this function makes a call to the backend it makes an ajax call right and on the backend i simply have a controller here right and this controller um, will grab the lat long again i'm printing it then uh, based on the radius if the radius is not selected i define the default radius and then i perform the search on dynamo db and essential return the response and through javascript on the front end itself i'm rendering it so again i i'm using handlebar js so here you can see i'm injecting the values here right so fairly straightforward right and if you are interested in the data there is a file called dunkin donuts.json which has all the uh, uh, data so you can easily load that i also made things very easy for you so come to the project and just run the file called run.py so what this will do is basically this will create the dynamo db table and load all the data into that so that you can learn these concepts much better right so i hopefully you know this made sense and i did show you a demo so for people who says right that you cannot do location based searches on dynamo well guys here is a small demo uh with you know i have a back end i have a front end again the ui is not that great but the concept is here i am able to search efficiently on that right and if you want to watch uh, further i encourage i have the slides here so please come and take a look at that right uh, i explain here all, all all you know step by step what everything is what geo hash is and i've also given all the references here right so it's a it's a it's a pretty cool project and you know i i really loved it so now i can say give me in uh, everything within 10 km right i can search very very fast this is super super fast right uh, again dynamo db is meant for speed right i have a hash key then i can easily sort so if you observe dynamo db again really quickly so here is the hash key right and then here is all the data attributes right that you have right now what happens is we have a local secondary index if i open dev.dunkin and if i go to indexes and here you see i have a low lsi and again just for people who don't know lsi lsi allows you to have the same pk and a different sk so now my access pattern here is basically for a given hash key for a you know whenever i get a uh a, a, a whenever i get um, you know a latin long i essentially convert into a geo hash and then i grab either the first three or the first six character uh then for that partition i fetch the value and since i have a local secondary index now i can sort uh, i can perform my sort right and i think if i'm not mistaken my sort is on uh, i guess geo hash yeah, i think this is where i'm performing the sort and again there's a library in python which takes care of all of these and i i encourage you to jump into yeah geo hash is the one yeah so i encourage you to come and you know dive into the code and you know take a peek at it this is the library uh, called dynamo db geo so i use this library i developed a wrapper fun fun functionality on the top of that right so again really quickly again very very quickly uh, let me just say get up and i encourage come here and you know if possible uh, re read more about it right i went through a lot of articles and posts uh, if you observe there is documentation given but if you don't like to read that and if you just want to do my project come here and do the project it's really really fun but hey guys dynamo db you can do location search you can do zip locations state city everything is possible in dynamo so as i said the concept is geo hash thank you so much for watching this is a small demo that i wanted to present to everybody who's watching the video and i hope you enjoy all these valuable contents and if you do enjoy the contents do give a like on the video and if you have any more question let me know your question in the comment section uh, by the way uh, I, i if you guys know i'm also uh, just because i crossed 25000 subscriber i'm going to be selecting randomly two entries uh, and i'll be delivering free workshop so if you want me to if you want please invite me in your company to deliver a free workshop 
um, I guess that's the video that I made and there's a Google form there. So um, yeah, that's all I have for this video and let me quickly share my screen. Hopefully it takes a while to load. <laughs> All right, so uh, as I said, right, uh, knowledge is power, right? Uh, try to read more and more about the domain. That's how you will, uh, you know, learn and grow and try to do small, small labs like these, right? When you get free time, you know, maybe Saturday, Sunday or after six o'clock of your work, spend two hours just to read articles, you know, uh, you know, because I feel like, you know, reading is so, so much important, right? That's how you learn how other people have done it. What are the available resources? just go and read about it have a habit every single day to read something new okay with that being said i, I would say keep smiling keep programming stay safe see you guys next time